Well, here we are working with some more hand dyed yarn. And what I'm using, some 8-2 cotton, some gray. And this is like a, a bit of a circle pattern. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but that's what I'm working on right now. This is, um, I'm not sure, maybe you might call an advancing twill kind of pattern, but it has a lot of treadling, a, a long treadling sequence. And I know a lot of people like to use their treadle trackers and things like that. I do something crazy like this. I put um, all the treadles numbered on a piece of paper and I have two sections. So if I need to stop, I can stop. But what I find is there's often a pattern in there and, I ha and I'll, I'm able to start to kind of not necessarily memorize the pattern, but my, it gets into a little bit of a rhythm. And I do have what we call a higher castle on this loom. It's kind of hard to see right now, but I'm going to stick my little post-it note up at the top. And I'm going to start to get this threaded up. I'm going to count and let you know kind of what treadle I'm doing just to uh, for part of it. And I'll start with treadle and this is one, this is two, three, and four. Yes, I know I have a squeaky loom. Then I do one, two, three, four five and six and then next I start with three and I, I'm going to go all the way up until I get to treadle eight. So the pattern is actually eight treadles and I am using an eight shaft loom. Then I come back and it's halfway. This is actually treadling the way it has been threaded. Now the sequences are going to go in sets of three. I'm going to go five, six, seven. And then it goes down one, four, five, and six. And then it's three, four, and five. And then it's two, three, four. And now I do a little kind of point trail. One, two, three, four, and then it goes back. Three, two, and one. And isn't that nice? I end up on with uh, almost ran out just at the end. Not sure how everyone else adds their next thread, the next bobbin. This is how I'm doing it. And I'm going to put it in the same shed here. And now you just see my little post is falling down, which is good to show you. I just did half the pattern. Now I'm going to do the second half of the pattern. And I will cut that little piece off later on. So now I'm going to go back down here. It starts with four, three, two, and then it's five, four, three, and then it's six, five, four, and then we're at seven, six, five. Now I'm going to do set two sets of four treadles. I'm at eight, seven, six, and five, eight, seven, six, and five. I'm almost finished with traveling sequence. I have to go all the way down until I get to travel three. And then I go back to six. All the way back down to number one. And now I'm going to do the last set. Four, three, and and that's the sequence. So right now, this is about a four-inch pattern that we're doing. They look alike, but they really are reversed. So there's little triangles in there. You might be able to see them there. I'm not sure if you can. But anyway, so I'm finished with that sequence, and I'm going to keep on going. I'll advance the loom. I went a little closer than I normally do, and I will keep on weaving.